Okay, hello to everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Daniele Posenato, and then uh, now I think it's time to start this uh, web seminar. Uh, you should hear my voice through your PC speaker, and then uh, you can ask a question using the question panel on the right of your screen, and then we will answer to uh, your question uh, at the end of the presentation or by email. Uh, later on, uh, um, during this week, uh, you will receive the link to download the presentation, uh, uh, the PowerPoint presentation uh, in PDF format, and also the uh, link to the um, uh, file with the uh, presentation uh, uh, with the audio. And then also you will receive the data sheet. Uh, the aim of this uh, uh, Web uh, webinar is to introduce uh, our our software. The aim is not to make you an expert of uh, our software, but just to give you an introduction an introduction of uh, our software, what they can do, the main characteristics of uh, each uh, of each software. We uh, the um, this uh, web seminar will be. Uh, divided in the, according to this schedule. At the beginning there will be an introduction, then I will start to speak about the uh, SDB, our standard database, and then in which I will present uh, the three applications that are part of this software. Then I will speak about the DiveView software and the, the, and the two uh, applications for this uh, uh, software, the DiveView for the die test and the view for the die test. Then later on I will speak about the Dynamo, that is the software for the dynamic uh, um, measuring. And then there will be the conclusion, and then later at the end there will be also the uh, time for to answer to the questions. The, usually when we speak about monitoring, we, speak, uh, we can speak about static or dynamic monitoring. When we say static monitoring means a few measurements per day, while when we say dynamic, uh, we speak about uh, a lot of uh, several measurements per second, more than uh, let's say one uh, one one hertz uh, one hertz of measuring per second. Then there are also the when we speak about monitoring, there are two main characteristics. One is point uh, uh, using point sensor uh, in a way that we are measuring just a single point or uh, a distributed uh, sensor. In this particular case, we have uh, uh, a lot of sensors, one uh, after the other, and then we can measure, let's say, a thousand of points, uh, uh, single points, one after the other. Uh, our software, our uh, SDB, that is mainly for uh, static measurement for our point sensors, and then uh, Diamond, that is uh, uh, a software that is uh, designed for dynamic uh, uh, measurements for point sensor and also for uh, static uh, um, measurements. Uh, on the other side, we have the Dive View software that is for static measurement, but uh, uh, it is uh, uh, in the domain of a distributed sensor for strain and for temperature. Now I will speak about the uh, standard database that is our uh, oldest software. Uh, this software uh, uh, is divided in uh, four parts. Uh, the standard part that is uh, in charge for the scheduling, downloaded, control and visualization of the measurements. Then there are three applications that can be enabled with uh, an activation key and then uh, uh, these three applications are soft, uh, SDB, that is uh, uh, for the visualization, export, setting of wording, uh, warning, and the aims of this software is to give uh, a more powerful data visualization of the data. The SDB Pro instead, uh, it is for, uh, for the uh, creation of virtual sensor and the real-time partial analysis. The aim of this uh, tool, it is to give the possibility to the client to define uh, more complex sensor to uh, give the possibility to make an analysis of, 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 the, uh, of the sensor. And then uh, the, the last software, it is uh, SDB Spots and the aims, it is uh, uh, to, um, uh, for, the, uh, for the spatial analysis uh, using uh, soft sensors. 
all these three structures requires an activation key uh, to be uh, enabled. The standard it is, uh, is a software that is for static monitoring and then uh, as it is uh, um, explained in the top of this view, it is, uh, uh, it is able to communicate with the soft reading unit, mass reading unit, and soft reading unit, a Campbell uh, reading unit, other model, and also third part uh, instruments. Uh, all the uh, data are saved in a SDB database, that, is, that uh, means standard database uh, in, in, in the format of uh, access database. Uh, as I said, SDB is divided in three parts. Uh, uh, software SDB or standard database, that is uh, uh, the standard part that doesn't require an activation key. The SDB Pro and the aims is to define a complex mathematical function to uh, allow uh, a better analysis of, uh, of the data. And then SDB View uh, with, that has the aims to uh, give the possibility to visualize the data in a more structural, uh, structural form. This is the typical uh, um, um, panel of the SDB. Uh, the aim of, as I said, of this uh, standard uh, part of the SDB, it is for the scheduling, downloading, measuring of software sensor and thermocouples. In this software, there is the possibility to save the measurement on a Microsoft uh, Access database, to visualize the history of the sensor on a graph or table, as we can see here in this, uh, in this uh, uh, panel. There is the graph uh, uh, results uh, and also the table, the history of the measurements. And then with this software, there is also the possibility to set the zero measurements uh, so that all the me it is possible to define one reference measurements and then later on all the measurements uh, are referred to, the, to this one. Then Software Pro, instead, uh, the idea is to simplify real-time interpretation. There is the possibility to combine real sensor using complex mathematical function to create a more powerful sensor. These uh, sensors are calculated at real-time, and then the, um, at the end, these, uh, uh, so, uh, the, the results are, um, are treated as a normal, uh, normal sensor. Uh, using this particular uh, sensor, it is uh, possible to calculate, for example, the curvature, the average shear strain, thermal strain, the load, and so on. And then uh, there is also the possibility for the visualization and analysis of uh, calculated measurements. And also with the software pro, uh, it is possible to enable the use of MAST, uh, reading unit, uh, Semsoptic, Campbell, and also the read from file uh, uh, sensor. And there are also other, uh, other sensors that are defined for a specific application. But all these sensors can be measured only when the SOPRO license is active. This is a typical, uh, typical uh, interface uh, when we get, uh, for example, one uh, um, sensor using the software Pro in which, there is, uh, which we can create, uh, uh, we can define a complex mathematical function using the other sensor. For example, in the left part of this, uh, on this uh, uh, picture, there is the list of all the sensors that we can select. In the top part here, instead, there is the list of all the uh, mathematical function that we can apply to our, uh, our measurements. And then in this, panel, in this panel, we have the possibility to create our, our formula using the, co the uh, sensor components and also the mathematical functions. At the end, uh, after uh, when the software is running, is able to uh, measure the sensor and then at the end to calculate, uh, to apply this uh, formula to the readings. Software view instead, uh, it is uh, uh, a software for the automatic data export of a selected group of sensors, selected the monitoring period. Uh, it allows to, uh, to, um, to give a complete data visualization of selected group of sensor over selected uh, monitoring period in form of tables, diagrams, and value presented on a structure, photo, schema, or plan. 
There is also the automatic elaboration and visualization in a real-time environment. This means, for example, during the uh, acquisition, uh, the data in, in the map or table or diagrams are automatically updated. For each uh, sensor that is uh, defined in, uh, in the view, in, uh, there is the possibility to define a pre-warning and warning threshold. This uh, warning and the pre-warning allows to uh, set uh, um, in the visualization of, uh, a yellow or red field in the table or in the structured photo, schema, or plan. There is also the possibility in using the software view to perform action on critical situation, uh, email, SMS, or run external software. This is uh, a particular uh, example of uh, um, uh, the soft view uh, in which we have, uh, for example, created one view uh, in a table, uh, table format and then uh, we have defined also the uh, pre-warning and warning. In this table we can see in yellow, the yellow field the, uh, all the values that are out of the pre-warning threshold and in the red uh, cells so we can see the value that are out of the uh, warning uh, warning threshold in this uh, in uh, in the in this map instead it is possible to select uh, um, a picture as a background and then uh, to drag uh, uh, all the sensor that we would like to see uh, the value can be red uh, uh, yellow in according to the if the value is out or in between the bounds and then at the bottom of this picture there is the graph with the uh, visualization of the sensor that are selected. At the end we can see that the soft view it is a tool for the data visualization. It is uh, to give the possibility to show in a more robust uh, um, format the, our data uh, stored in the database. And then we have also the possibility to set pre-warning and warning for each sensor. And then when the software is running, automatically update the view. And then if there is a, a value or a, a sequence of value out of the threshold, uh, a specific action can be uh, executed, such as uh, send uh, an email, uh, an SMS, or run an external software. In this software, uh, in this uh, application, there is the possibility to create uh, a many view, as many uh, visualization of our data as uh, it is it appears on the right part of this, uh, of, of this view. There is not any limitation in the number of view that can be created. This is another example of the possibility of this tool. There is the automatic uh, web publishing of the data and then there is also the automatic uh, data exporting to TXT, Excel, HTML or XML. This means, for example, that after each uh, agenda of the software, the software is able to update the view, create the uh, HTML page, or to export the data uh, contained in the view in a specific format, such as TXT, Excel, HTML, or XML. The next, uh, the next software that I would like to, to speak about, it is the uh, DiveView software. The DiveView software is a software that is designed for the static monitoring, uh, for the management of uh, distribu distributed uh, measurement data. Uh, when we speak about the distribu distributed measurement data, we can speak about strain and temperature, and then uh, 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 when we speak about strain, we can also speak about uh, a strain compensated uh, uh, with, with the temperature. This software allows, allows also the, uh, to give an indication about the system status and also the, uh, that this means the status of the monitoring system, but also the status of the, uh, um, after the post-processing. Because one thing it is if the reading unit is working uh, correctly, so this means no problem in the reading unit, but also it means uh, if there is something in, in your data. So the reading unit can measure correctly, no problem, but can be some high value, some uh, local strain or leakage in our uh, in, uh, 
metering. Uh, there is also the possibility to uh, set the warning based on the threshold or rate condition and then to display the results on a map eh, as it is visible on the right part this, uh, uh, of this uh, um, slide. Uh, the dye view can work with the dye temp for the monitoring of the temperature and also with the dye test for the monitor of the temperature and the monitor of the strain. The view can be classified into, uh, into different, uh, with two different applications. So we have two uh, stand-alone uh, software with the same name, DiView, and one is the, uh, designed to work with the dye test and another one is designed to work with the, uh, with the dye test. The main characteristic of the dye view dye test, it, is, uh, uh, it has the possibility to uh, schedule and save the data. This means that this software is able to control the reading unit and save the data. It is able also to measure the strain and the temperature and do the temperature compensation. After each measuring, there is, uh, the software visualizes the data on a map and then gives the possibility to the client to plot the history. So it is possible to upload the measurements taken in the past. For each uh, sensor, there is the possibility to, uh, to do um, uh, a deeper analysis, uh, and also to define uh, the one uh, based on the crack detection, so if there is a crack in the structure, based on threshold, if each measurement point is uh, out of the bound, uh, minimum and maximum, or also uh, our more complex algorithm uh, based on the rate condition, such as, for example, if the measurement is out of the standardization calculated according to the measurement taking the same uh, uh, time in the previous day. When there is a warning situation, the software is able also send email, uh, SMS, text message with the GSM, or to perform also some uh, uh, phone call with a report uh, of the warning. The software allows also to do the acknowledgement via SMS, so when you receive a warning, you can send a, a reply via SMS, just as acknowledgement for the receiving of the warning. Uh, give also, the software gives also the possibility to do the regression analysis in, uh, on your data to see if there is a trend on, on your measurements and also uh, gives the possibility to, def to define a different class of uh, user, one for example in charge only for the analysis of the data and another class uh, for the uh, status of the system, means the people that has to be uh, informed when the reading unit is not working or another class of user for example to be informed only when something is happening to your, uh, to your structure. The DVU data temp instead is, uh, has the same interface as the DIVU data test, but uh, this software works the, in, in a different way. First of all, the scheduling is not done, is not done by the DIVU, but is done by uh, the data temp reading unit. This means that the reading unit data temp is uh, pre-configured to, uh, um, to measure continuously, and then the DIVU uh, is this uh, um, simple uh, reading the data saved in the hard disk of this reading unit. Then this software uh, visualizes the data uh, on a map. Uh, it is able to show the absolute temperature or the temperature relative to the minimum and maximum. It is able to plot the history, so it is possible to upload a list of the measurements taken in the past. Uh, and, do, and also to do a zero measurement to uh, visualize the data in a better way. The analysis of the temperature with this software can be done, uh, just consider the absolute temperature, uh, checking if the temperature is inside the bounds, or uh, the relative variation. This means that uh, two consecutive measurements uh, are um, analyze it, and then if there is a gap of temperature too high, uh, there is uh, um, a red, uh, there is a warning. The leak, uh, there is also, in this software, there is also the possibility to perform the leak detection uh, using the heating of the cable, and also the, the peak detection for the detection of the leakage. The idea here it is to detect if there is a peak uh, in your data. And the warning in this uh, software uh, is done using an, an external software uh, the, called the traffic light. This software is looking for a file in a specific folder. 
So the idea of the debut item, the warning of the debut item, it is to write a text file in a specific folder uh, when there is a critical situation. This is the uh, typical interface uh, of the uh, DIU. Uh, and then it is called the statu, uh, status panel. This status panel has the, um, the purpose to give you an overview about the status of the system. In this, uh, um, in this uh, panel, there is uh, the, the list of all the reading units that are uh, uh, measured by the DIU. And then uh, there is uh, the, um, also the list uh, of all the row sensor connected to each uh, uh, reading unit. So the software, the DIVU software, allows uh, uh, to read, uh, uh, there is no an, a limitation in the number of reading units that is able to uh, control in parallel. So it is, uh, it is able to, uh, has how it is in this, uh, um, in this slide, is presented in this slide to measure more than one uh, uh, reading unit at the same time. When uh, uh, there is also the possibility to click uh, on this uh, on the row sensor, and then uh, when after the click on the on the on the button of the row sensor, uh, that is uh, there is the, a pop up uh, with the explanation about the status of the sensor. There is also the possibility to activate or uh, deactivate one sensor. When we speak about a row sensor, it means uh, one single channel of the instrument's reading unit. At the bottom of this, uh, uh, of this panel, there is the status to give an indication if the reading unit is working properly, then if uh, the uh, real sensor, where real sensor means the uh, value of the sensor after post-processing, and then if there is uh, also some logs. Logs means uh, everything is happening to your structure or to your system is written in a database. And then when there is a new log or a critical uh, log uh, that requires an, acknowledg an acknowledgement, there is uh, uh, a red status uh, uh, here. In the next panel, there is the measurement live. The purpose, the purpose of this uh, uh, panel, it is to give you the possibility to see the status uh, of your structure. On the left, on the left part of this uh, uh, panel, there is the list of all the uh, real sensor. In this particular case, there is just one, uh, one uh, uh, real sensor, and then. On the on the right, there is the on, on the center of this uh, of this panel. There is a picture of your structure. In this particular case, there is a top view in which it was installed uh, one uh, one sensor to measure the strain. One of the main characteristic of this uh, of this uh, interface, uh, it is uh, when you move the mouse and then you go over the sensor. There is uh, a, a a rectangle that appears with the status of each uh, of the measurement point where the mouse is. And then this value, it is also present at the bottom of the picture. And then it is possible to move point by point with the, uh, this small uh, tool at the bottom of the picture, or just moving the mouse uh, over the, the, of the, the picture to give uh, uh, the report about the last, me the last measurement for this uh, uh, measurement point. In this particular uh, picture, it is also possible to make uh, to do a zoom uh, to give uh, uh, better to see be, uh, better the details uh, of the area in which we are interested to. On the right part of this uh, part, uh, of this panel, there is the possibility to select the range of the measurement that you would like to see. In this particular case, we are uh, selecting to see all the possible measurements, but if we move the arrows, we can select, for example, just to see the points for which the value are out of the thresholds. The last uh, panel of this, uh, of this software, it is the uh, logs. Uh, in, this, uh, in this panel, there is the, uh, the possibility uh, to see all the logs uh, uh, present uh, in, in uh, saved in in the database. There is also the possibility to filter the logs just to select the last uh, the last days, 
or to show only the warning, the error, uh, to see only the, the, the message without acknowledge. And then every time you click on one, one log, there is a, a new panel that appears with the report of, uh, of the error. And then there is also the possibility to do the acknowledge. Uh, each client, uh, uh, each user can uh, digit his login and his password to acknowledge to, uh, to the error. The diamond. Diamond is the last software that uh, I would like to speak about. Uh, the diamond software is designed for dynamic data analysis. And uh, this software is uh, compatible up to now with the following instruments. Uh, the, all the mass reading units, uh, means uh, uh, mass light and mass dynamic. And it is compatible with uh, the sensoptic reading units, uh, except for the evolution. And then uh, it, uh, it works also with, with the anemometer, with the meteor station. The di diamond software allows uh, automatic triggering and uh, storing of dynamic data. And this software is able to automatically uh, to store static data that can be automatically imported and uh, analyzed using the software SDB software. This is the um, probably the most important uh, slide concerning the diamond because it gives uh, um, an idea about the functioning principle of this software. Uh, in the center we have uh, the diamond kernel that is uh, a software that uh, has the following uh, uh, task. First of all it is able to upload the uh, configuration from the uh, that can be uh, predefined using uh, um, a standard alone interface. Then this software that is continuously running on your com uh, in your computer is able to acquire the uh, the data from uh, an instrument that in this case uh, in this drawing is the, the mass dynamic that can go from one hertz to one uh, one kilohertz. And then the can the diamond kernel is able to um, uh, to show the data using the user interface. The principle of this software is that uh, the kernel is always waiting for the request of the user interface. The user interface, it is, that is the visualization of your uh, status of the system, is sending the command to the daemon, uh, give me the last measurement. Uh, and then uh, the kernel answer to the request of the user interface. By uh, theoretically, there is not any limitation in the number of user interface that can communicate with the uh, diamond kernel. But this particular case will be described in the next uh, in the next slides. Uh, the diamond kernel is uh, is uh, mean the purpose of the diamond kernel. It is for the, the dynamic uh, monitoring and it is able to uh, store the data on specific uh, uh, events. In particular, uh, the, the, the kernel is able to save dynamically the data in a text file uh, when uh, uh, there is a, a manual save, so the client can click on a button and, and say save for uh, this amount of seconds. Then there is also the cycle agenda, so the diamond kernel is able to uh, save a specific time for a specific amount of seconds. Then there is absolute trigger, when there is the one of the sensor that are connected to the instrument is out of the the bounds, the software start to save the data, and the relative trigger, uh, it is another option that allows the software to save the data when there is a specific trend uh, on the on the uh, on the data. But all these uh, uh, saving option will be described in the in the next slides. At the same time, the diamond kernel is able to uh, calculate the statistics, and these statistics are saved in, uh, um, in, uh, in, in a text file. These statistics are, for each sensor, are uh, the average, the minimum, the maximum, and the standard deviation. All these uh, uh, information for each sensor are the, saved in a unique uh, uh, text, uh, text file that can be uh, imported uh, in the SDB using the software pro uh, and the, the software view uh, application of the, of the SDB. This is the typical uh, um, 
uh, panel for the for, for the kernel. Uh, in particular, the kernel uh, is able to um, initialize and uh, start the acquisition of the data from the reading unit. Uh, it performs also the data buffering for retract retractative data storing and then uh, it is able to save the data uh, b uh, based, uh, based on triggering. This, uh, this means manual triggers, absolute triggers, relative triggers and cycle agenda and also give the possibility to uh, do it zero it's zero measurement on the data. In this, uh, in this slide, instead, is presented the user interface. Uh, the user interface, uh, it is for the real-time uh, real data visualization, and then uh, uh, the user interface allow, allows to define the several uh, photo or plan of your structure, and then in each uh, uh, map, uh, there is a possibility to, to, to um, to drag the sensor that should be visualized on the uh, on on each uh, on each photo. In this particular case, for example, on the left we have a one, two, three, four, uh, five uh, uh, different uh, maps. Now the ones that is active is the deck, and then there is the list of the sensors that are visible for this particular uh, view. Uh, as, uh, as I said before, we have the, uh, the kernel, that is uh, the, the core of the, of the diamond, that is able to acquire, to, uh, to measure continuously from the reading unit. At the same time, we can have uh, several user interfaces located everywhere in the world that are sending the request of the data to the kernel, and the kernel is sending the uh, last measurements to each user interface. This means that we can have one kernel that is running anywhere in the world, and then we can have several user interfaces. Each one in his office can run a user interface with his own interface, with his own maps, and then see what is the actual status of each monitoring structure. This is uh, now an example about the absolute trigger. We can define for each, uh, uh, for each sensor the warning, uh, pre-warning, minimum, and maximum. So let's say that we are at, uh, at, this, uh, at this time. So the uh, absolute trigger starts to measure when the actual measurement is out of uh, the bounds. Then the software measure any measurement after the uh, the value the time when the value is out of the threshold, but also allows the measurements of uh, uh, any measurement before the event. Uh, this because sometimes it's not important only when the data are out of the uh, when out of the threshold, but also a small part uh, before this event, just to understand what what could be the reason. Of the of the events, and this saving it occurs when there is an absolute trigger in one of the sensor. And the amount uh, in this uh, drawing, the red uh, part of the the sensor, uh, the, uh, it is the part that is uh, saved in the in, in the file. The next uh, um, trigger, it is relative trigger. That means when there is the, the actual measurement that uh, minus the measurement taken, taken in the past, it is bigger than a specific threshold. When we have a, a trend, when we have a, two big uh, jumps in the data between the actual measurement and the one measurement taken in the past, so the software starts to measure any measurements after and also M measurements before. In this particular case, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, it is important to know not only when we have the, uh, the event, but also a certain amount of seconds before. Another possibility of saving the data for this software is a cycle agenda. So the software is able to, uh, at a specific time, to save a specific uh, amount, uh, to store the data for a specific amount of seconds. So do, as we can see here, we have, for example, an agenda that is, play, that is played every two hours that is uh, saving the data for, for 30, 30 minutes. 
manual save, instead uh, it is something that the client, uh, the user can do. When the client uh, click uh, on the kernel save now, the software start to re record the data for the amount of seconds specified in the, in the, in the kernel. So, at the end, uh, we can say that the software SDB, it is a, a software for static data analysis for point-wise sensor. Debut, it is for static data analysis for distributed sensor. And instead, Diamond is uh, the software for dynamic data analysis for point-wise sensors. And this is the end for, the, uh, for this uh, presentation. Any questions?